So here's to going to hoping, um, in particular with this site. Uh, look, long story short, I already did the video. <laughs> I named it Attempt, but I'm part of 12 Tribes, um, a Gadite. And what I found out was I'm a, and I can never say the word right, ab, Aboriginal. And I think, and you see, that's what I want to react to because I think that's the reason why Twitch might get shut down. They're passing over information, or it's a way to pass over information between people without the government's oversight. I really think that's the difference because, you know, they just took Facebook to, you know, they just took Facebook and they let them know it's like that. But the thing is, when you compare TikTok to Facebook, yes, there's some freedom. Most of the content isn't created on Facebook that talks about these issues. A lot of the content is created on TikTok. And for some reason, it, it flies over certain heads. I'm trying to get to my page because I saved a few. Okay. I saved a few. And this is new. I don't normally use it. Let me see. Where are the posts that I actually made? Maybe it's on my page. And um, my post from this Facebook might not. I just don't understand how to use it. So where is it? That's for later. But not important right now. Talking about the Aboriginal thing. Later. Later. But they're connected because here's the thing. And, and, and it, 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 it's, it's such huge hits when you realize that in order for them to control certain things about the black narrative, they started uh, promoting division in the household with the women. You know, that's ever present. Hold on. Uh, Let me see. Let's start with this one. Glitchy. Yeah. There is no letter Y or no letter H. Let me start over. Did you know that when we pray in our own native language, which is Hebrew, that it has more power to it? In Greek, there is no letter Y or no letter H that has the equivalent in their, in their alphabet. So you can't say or pronounce the name of Yah. You think that's by coincidence? So when we pray in Hebrew, we can actually clearly say the name of the Father and the Son, Yahuwah and Yahoshua, Hamashiach, or Jesus the Christ, as they say in English. But remember, there's no letter um, J in the Father's name. It's Yod or Y. What the heck? I just scroll down slightly. Okay, let's see. And the Greeks took out the letter Y and the letter H so that we can't pronounce the father's name or the son's. Well, I've got good news. Today, we're going to teach you how to pray the Lord's Prayer. Uh, I'm going to skip past that, but one of the things I wanted to highlight in particular, wow. I and he highlight is that the Hebrew Israelites is a real thing and it's not just something pulled out of uh, people it's not just something that people put out of but it's it's re it's realistic uh, things behind this because there was another one where a black man challenged both a Muslim and a Jewish person and not only in the Bible, in specific scriptures, does it make it clear that certain saints are black. It makes it clear that Jesus is black. And I was I was born in church. I was raised Christian. And certain things about the Bible didn't make sense, so it didn't vibe with me. 
And it wasn't until I got the apocryphy that I understand that now. But that's not the main, main focus. I kind of cover some of that this later, but this is very important. This is very important. In fact, let me briefly talk about this. What I started doing was I got on the page and I started noticing that there were some Hispanics, some Mexicans, and people who were upset that and Gadites and Black Israelites for some reason. And maybe it's because part of messages of the Black Israelites is like saying, yeah, you guys aren't, you know, what you say you are, you're this. But, you know, the thing about the page is that you have to join that page and give a message saying you won't do certain things. That's for later. That is for later as well. That is for later as well. Here we go. He has been using a standard and reliable archaeological measure, the shape of the skull, to find out what race she belonged to. He fully expected Luthia to be a mongoloid, an ancestor of the American Indians. But then he fed the measurements into the computer. When we start running the computer and seeing the results, uh, it was amazing because we realized that uh, uh, the statistics, the quantitative analysis we were doing was not showing just people to be mongoloid. In fact, the analysis was showing just people was anything except mongoloid. So who was Luthia? And where did she come from? To find out, the skull was taken to a hospital in Rio de Janeiro to begin the process of reconstructing her face. The first stage was to make a three-dimensional CAT scan of Luthia's skull in order to build a replica. Straight up Felicia. <laughs> Look, that nose and some things make things very, very clear. That to me is a Negro face that has all the features you associate with a negroid face the um don't get proportions offended of the i'm face, get into it but uh it doesn't say anything about it being a mongoloid but here's the thing the reason why and i saw this when i watched the movie uh there were some black people who were preserving being called negro and the reason was is that they were trying to preserve being called negro because we have, we have had our names changed so many times and the whole reason is to make paperwork confusing as well as documentation. We've been Aboriginal to different races and Negro was the last one, but Negro has a lot of paperwork behind it. Just like he said, that is a Negroid face, Negroid face. But it's clear that she herself is black. And not black in the same term, but copper. You see, it's so easy to say black, and I got to stop doing that. But she's copper. She is a copper woman. And um, what I started to find out was there, there's some hidden misinformation. Don't get me wrong. There's some hidden misinformation. But stuff like that, very important. I'm trying to get to the to the one, to the killers. Not the, <laughs> like the Dow killers. Here we go. European contact. The lifestyle mannequins pictured here are the forebears of the indigenous people who live there to this very day. I contacted the museum and asked how long have these mannequins been part of the exhibit. I was informed that they had been there since the early 70s. Mm -hmm. In 2010, the museum received a facelift, and now these are the new residents of Moundville. These people are replacing the indigenous people. This is further proof as many have speculated in the past, that the black Negro American is being Africanized off of his ancestral homeland. So now when you visit the museum, you get this instead of this. Kind of like going from this 
to that. And that is why I believe TikTok is in trouble. Information like this that the government can't control and can't quantify is being... Age and color of the original people. ...before European contact. The this is why I didn't... Man. What the heck? I closed it out. I don't have a problem with it. It's just like I'm scrolling and some of the stuff have to, has a tendency to open up. But the history is there. But people have a tendency to challenge it, but the history is there. And the scarier part about this is not so much, oh, the, the, you're afraid. No, no, no. They're covering up stuff in plain sight. Like, if you want to test me and challenge me, I've been actually gathering documentation on copper-colored people, Negroid people, Moors, all that existing in. And I'm finding more and more empirical proof that there were less slaves that came off the ship and more people, black people who were originally here in America. I'm finding more and more proof, and that's getting crazy. But it's not so much me going after the the knowledge that's like, ooh, I'm judging the government. No, it's the fact that I keep seeing things like this where they cover it up. Also, this is a, the color change of certain things is problematic with a lot of uh, black people and other people because what the tendency of what's going on is we're seeing a lot of changes happen and the thing is while there are native americans who do own their own land it's at the hearsay of the government so they can twist their arm when they need to you know when it comes down to information and certain things and i wouldn't put it past them i mean we have those issues with what hbc uses certain things where the government can still twist their arm and tell them what to teach and do certain things so nothing is ever free I was going to scroll on the Facebook, but I wanted to cover again these, these hitters first. This tomb is real, but people have tried to challenge it, and the artifacts have been real. He may not present them, though. Something they don't show in the mainstream media. There was many Egyptian artifacts and even a whole underground Egyptian city found in the Grand Canyon. These yes. areas of the Grand Canyon are off limits. You can't even visit there. You can be trespassed and you can get arrested for it. Now, the real question is, why was the Egyptians in the Grand Canyon? I know a lot of y'all know that answer, but for the people who don't, because the Egyptians used the Grand Canyon to travel here, they found a lot of the artifacts there in the Grand Canyon, including skeletons and jewelry and a bunch of other things. And the reason they won't show you this on the media is because it literally proves that Africans predate Columbus, trying their best to create a narrative that Africans have not been here. This is just one of the many things that they found in America that prove Egyptians were here. These pyramids and Egyptian artifacts found all across America. The real question is, where is this history? How is it like this part of history is being erased? Because clearly if they were here before Columbus, they were doing things here. Why don't they teach us about that in school? I got to understand, there's a lot of corruption going on with this system. Once you seek the information, they'll find you. I said. It's something uh, even to say to what he's saying here. Ultimately, the bigger issue is that you're being challenged for pursuing information. Like, this is some One Piece stuff. This is some One Piece stuff where you find out about 800 years ago and you find out about the One Kingdom. But I've heard uh, a lot of smack talk and a lot of stuff on just the, or honestly, just the Facebook pages where there are people of Hispanic descent, Spanish descent, and even some Jews uh, posing as other people coming on the page and insulting people who are aboriginals and Hebrew Israelites, because those two and two go together. But, you know, it, it's where you stop it. I followed my uh, ancestry and found out about being a Hebrew Israelite from figuring out that I was Native, Native American. But those are the hitters, because those are actual proof that they're switching out certain things and changing up information. Uh, you see, I don't know if this guy's a doctor, but I'm going to let it play. I'm going to let it play. If he's a doctor, I'm like, yeah. But, you know, if he's not a doctor, I'm like, yeah. Because as long as the, the important thing here is documentation and proof. Original owners of America. Thank you. Black people. Af wow. African Americans. They don't come from Africa. They were already here. Thank and they you. flagged them out. 
and they stole the Smiths, the Smithsonian Institute, which is Jesuit controlled, stole their knowledge, stole their history, and now we're just left wondering who we are, where we are, where we come from, where we're going. We don't know anything. Wow. Because that's what y'all wanted. Because they did a catastrophe on this earth only a few hundred years ago. Now, they just go into a country, plague the whole place now, and then take over their buildings. New York was already there for thousands of years. San Francisco right. was there for thousands of years. Los Angeles was there for thousands of years. They were built by the indigenous people who were black and, Indi and, and Indians as well. The black people, they weren't brought over by slaves. They are the original owners. Now... Were there slave ships? Yes. Were there black people brought over here they from Africa? They just go into a country, plague the whole earth. You see, I don't know how to control that. Yes, there are. But however, they do not exceed. What started happening was, and this is becoming more and more clear, is that there were people of here, uh, and pretty much they just said, hey, no, no, you guys are slaves. We own you now. So here's the thing about this, though. DNA test, and this is something that a lot of people are trying to use against black people, but the DNA test is actually on the system as well, where they're trying to say that anyone who's darker skin is African. They're African because they're darker skin. Uh, they came off the slave ship, they don't own anything. However, whenever people have been able to find their ancestors or find the tribes that they're a part of, if they're a black Gadite and they were able to prove it, that was the only time that there was discrepancy. If you don't know who you are and you take these DNA tests, they have the tendency to say, oh, well, you just came from Africa. Yeah, you, you came from Africa. And here's what I think is the end game for that. They're gonna use us. And this is why I also hop on a feminism thing and I get mad at that. They're gonna use all of that to attack people in Africa or to try to uh, launch uh, a soft war, a soft warfare on Africa. And it's very simple because they're using our likeness in order to do that. Now, there are cases where it has been made clear that there are African people who have made it clear that they know for a fact that African Americans, what we're called today, and Africans are completely different people. They just change up our name and stuff to confuse things, but that's why. Uh, what was what was the movie? What was it Red? What was it Red Tails? It was based off of the black fighter pilots during the war, but and Neo was in it, and that other guy who sexually abused that chick. But yeah, honestly, they were they were. Um, his career's been done since then. He was in the Great Debaters too. But long story short, they've been trying to resist this name change because the more they keep changing up our name, it's to confuse certain things. Like the hope was that in what, 100 years or so, we, we forget we're called Negroids. And I think that's one of the reasons why black people have been holding on to the N-word. Niger. <laughs> Look, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. But I think that's one of the reasons why they've been holding on to that word and saying that's our word. It's not just about it being offensive. You see, that's why some of the other people are telling uh, black people to move on because what they're saying ultimately is move on from being called what you are. That's a point of reference though. Because let me see, how, how many minutes am I in? There are documentations referring to Negroids just like the dude did with the, with the face of certain things. Because here's the thing, depending on the timeline you choose, because I'm not backtracking all the way. I'm not saying everyone who, who's Mexican is this, that, and the other. I, I need more proof on that. But there's paintings that go back that depict people of darker skin. There are different things happening. And, and Wakanda also made that very clear. Wakanda made that very clear because when they chose a darker Latin person, they got upset. But I'm like, yo, this is true to the Mesoamerican. Yeah. I'm, am, am I saying that correctly? Hopefully I'm not offending anyone, but that's true to the Mesoamerican look. Like, I'm like, yeah, that looks, if he two shades darker, he would be the guy from El Dorado. 
But then I find out that El Dorado, <laughs> El Dorado was a, a piece of work as well. More on that later. But if you, the question, the reason why I constantly go back to feminism, black feminism, and attacking and certain things, and I don't mean attack like it's all right. I try to rip it apart. It's just like it doesn't make sense to hold up. Is that I'm noticing how it's being used to divide people to keep us from certain truths. Like while all this black feminism thing was going on, they were making moves. Well, my grandfather was born in 1920. Yeah, my mother was born in 1960. Between that time started the black feminist movement and after the black feminist movement, we, start, we started forgetting who we were. And from then up to now, you know, black men just focused on the women making excuses and doing certain things and chasing them. And it became very problematic. And, you know, that's why I will never stop being on feminism's tail because, like, the damage that it has done, historically-wise, we got off track. We're making babies, black babies, just to make black babies for the government, for their money. We don't do anything. We don't build. We don't try to build up a community. And, and you know, the only time you hear something bad about it is, is when a, a brother who meets a certain requirement, this, any other, he decides to date out. But you didn't build him up per men like me or average men. There's no build up. And I understand it has more to do with identity, but that's why I attack it because I'm like, yo, at the end of the day, our identity is not in this because we did not do anything to our women. We didn't. Yeah, there were a few a, a few abusive black men, don't get me wrong, but I will never not admit that. However, to that amount and to that extent, no. It was like a nuclear bomb made out of mental energy and it worked. Because it convinced so many black women to to go against black men, they don't do this, any other. And sometimes even document it, it's they don't even bring the same energy when they date out. So ultimately my point is that feminism wasn't needed. And that's why even though I'm going on and I'm changing and talking about these subjects. I'm still going to be talking about feminism when it becomes toxic because that is one thing that have set us off from who we were. We had an identity. They were killing us for this. But this is ultimately another reason why I believe they're getting rid of TikTok because information like this is something they can't control. Some of this is on Facebook, don't get me wrong, but the format and stuff hits different. Now, before this is up, we're going to look at some TikToks. Because in order for people to know that they're Hebrew Israelites, they have to identify as a Gadite and go through and find out that they're Aboriginal. Oftentimes. Let me see. See, since I'm doing this on the computer, it's going to be glitchy. What do Aboriginal people think of African black people? Oh, they love them. Yeah? Yes, Tell absolutely. Them. We love the Africans up here. <laughs> <laughs> same color. Same color. Color. Very <laughs> good. Yeah? Yeah. We love for the African people. Yes? Yeah. Same black and same color. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> they are so open. Yeah. And they are not afraid to speak their mind. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. They open up to themselves. They in here. And they learn a bit about their art culture. Yeah. And we learn a bit about them. Yeah. Yes. So when you see someone like me, are you what what goes through your mind? We're all the same. We're all the same. I feel like you're our brothers and sisters. <laughs> Alright, he's talking to Let me see. Part two women. Oh. I messed. <laughs> I don't know how to use TikTok. You know they're gonna start with my mom. They'll start with my mom. Met my dad. I'm a big gangster. Turn around with your foreign love. They fell in love. They had me. I get those goosebumps every time. Come around, yeah. 
Now, notice his nose. Notice certain things. Now, in America, the reason why a lot of the problems that a lot of men have come out is because, especially about dating and stuff like that, has more to do with there was never a 100% compromise between both communities. If a black man dates out, he's got to take care of that white woman. And if he fails, you know. Now, if a, a man of another race takes care of a woman, he has to pay for her, but that's on a dime community. It always has been seen like that. So while I don't have a problem with it, I see why it becomes an argument. But pay attention to his nose, his features. He's mixed. He's mixed, and I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Now, he's not black Asian or something like that, but yeah. That was an old picture of his mom, though. That was, he had photos. Like, are, are they in a, they might be in a different country, so never mind. I don't want to sound like anything, but I'm happy for them. You know, health to their marriage. But, okay, Australia, because there are also Aboriginals from Australia as well. So that's what I was trying to figure out in the last video. Let me do one more and let me try to just go down the page and see if I can find one. Because I hope Aboriginal doesn't become like a new light skin and, and they're like, oh, it, oh you're, you're specific people and it becomes a tool of division. Let me see. Can I meet your family? No, oh, that's okay. Uh, but I don't want this to become something that people just try to take and misuse. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. When people think I'm not Aboriginal. Because ultimately, you know, you don't want it to become, okay, I'm seeing the same girl come up. Say, I'm trying to see, can I scroll down any further? Not that much, but some of the other information is coming up. Some of the TikToks that I saw that I showed you are coming up. Let me see the videos because that just says top. Maybe if I put in black Hebrew Israelites, I get more. But they may not be using it as a hashtag. But information like this is being passed along. And certain things are becoming clear, but it might be. Okay. Yeah, let's let's this one sounds like a good one. Slavery, 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 Ultimately, what has become clear is that this is information that can't be easily monitored. But overall, uh, I'm going to be honest, the information I've been getting, especially on the pages, has been different. Since I'm not live streaming or nothing, I'm not going to do a long one on this. You know, I... I <laughs> because it's in another page. I'm going to see, can I find... Uh, I'm going to see, can I find... Uh, because I saved a few of them. There's more. There's more. But yeah, that other stuff is for later. And like I said, it's ultimately because, and it's not punishing, it's not about, when I address feminism, it's not about punishing women for making a certain decision. It's that when they decide to hold men accountable, especially comparing them to other communities where the women are supposed to do what they say and stay in line. The question is, why Why would you do that? Why would you do that? No, just put it out plain. But here, this is all things Aboriginal. Still in the skin. And this is what I was talking about. Sent Negro appearance of the Indians in that re region. Five. 
they grow, they grow like flat noses. And this is just science. Here's the thing. Now what, what, what we're learning is we're learning where to look about this stuff. And, you know, depending on the page, some of these pages are healthier, some of these are just negative. Like, trying to see. Trying to do, like, a rush. Why do I got things that I didn't? Don't suggest that this is the channel's Facebook. I'm not trying to use to get views. I know this computer is going to overheat when this is done. Hello. It's stuck. But ultimately, when it comes to this, the subject different stuff, I made clear, you know, let me wrap it up. I see the three in the corner. I'm past 30. Let me go ahead and wrap it up. Three things I want to make clear. Number one, I figured out through figuring, through figuring out <laughs> what my dad told me about myself. Because he told me I was a few tribes of Native American Jew and a few other things. So you see, there's Jew and there's Jewish. So I didn't understand until I met a guy in the street corner and talked to him, the Hebrew Israelites, and they made it clear that I'm a Gadite. Um, my dad uh, has a tendency to be on the reservations from what I heard, different things. And I'm saying from what I heard because what he told me as well as what another family member told me, because they can't talk too much when they're on certain reservations, but if I remember Gadite and through that Hebrew Israelite, but uh, as well as Aboriginal, all those things are connected. And with my new identity coming to fruition, uh, I understand that it's important to address those things, but still address things like the toxic feminism in black community, certain things, uh, figuring out money, because you still need to survive. But it's just like a, a change for me as well as the channel, because if you remember, one of my first videos talked about black nihilism and the separation from identity, as well as that constantly being attacked. Because look, at the end of the day, and, and I'm gonna keep coming back to it, the reason why I even brought up in this episode, and it feels almost out of, out of, out of, uh, out of flow, was that that was one of the ways that they destroyed our identity by convincing uh, convincing the women to do their own thing. Meanwhile, they started getting rid of certain things. Like when you really pay attention to when feminism starts to take fruition, they started hiding certain things, removing certain things. 2010, I was in high school and between 2000, between 2006 to 2020, I would even say, feminism and, and the false accusations and black women just doing that, was at its highest, at its highest. And they were just doing it just because. Like there are, and I'm saying this to be honest, there are black twisted women who like falsely accusing, falsely doing certain things, not being accountable, and they're not building a community. And as I switch back on to dealing with community issues, dealing with community stuff, figuring out my identity, I make it clear that this isn't healthy. So, yes, I'm still going to talk about those issues. Uh, guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. All are out.